What's up peeps and welcome back to Surreal Plays. I'm back with another video and this one is about, we just finished decorating this place now, this one's about all the space your trees are taking so it's about glitching trees. I have touched on this subject before but I've had a few questions about it uh, from a few people asking how you do multiple tree glitching and you can see we don't have a lot of space here we've got all our machines squashed up together all our crops are at the back we can't really see what we're doing and for the sake of having a good design and a lot of space around my design keeping my car parking space etc I'm going to actually glitch the trees and that's going to save me a lot of space I mean I could put my machines all in these bits here which will save me a lot of space so that's why I left this gap here by the palm tree walls but we do need to glitch some of these trees to make a little bit more space. I mean, this is by maximum amount of land. I can't buy any more land. And as you level up, you do get more machines. So I've got a few stations to go that I need to buy. And also it's handy having a lot of trees. So glitching the trees is absolutely a good idea. So we're going to start off with the main layout that we're on now and this is the layout I'm keeping I've got a second layout which I have uh, got a different design on and I've got a third layout which I've got my functionals on now it's okay if you've got just the two layouts this is where your second layout is going to come in handy um, so we've got our main layout and when you press on these they have a green border on them to highlight which which layout you're in. So we need to start by copying our active layout. So active layout is the one we're using now. I'm actually going to copy it onto my third layout, which is where my functionals are. So it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite the uh, third layout or the second layout, depending on what you're using. And I've said yes to that. So I've got two layouts which are exactly the same the first one and the third one. So we're going to start by staying in our main layout. Of course you need to firstly decide where you want your trees to go. So if you have to move some things out of the way to make some space, do that and make sure that you can actually see your trees in a tidy fashion where you're not going to get confused. So imagine if you're going to be putting your um tea bushes over here you're gonna have to make a little bit more space so we can just pop a couple of other trees in a different space uh, while we're trying to sort this out right so we've placed our first tree here and we need to copy this layout again after every move you do you copy your layout and then you go into your second layout and it will be exactly the same as it is in the first layout. So we're going to have to store away the tree on your second layout. And then you're going to take it back out again without placing it down onto the floor. We're going to X out using the cross on the left bottom hand corner and come out of that layout. It will take us back to our main layout and you'll see that the tree is missing. We pick up our second tree and we want to put it not on top of the other tree, which is where this tree is. We can't see it, but it is there. We're going to go to the second set of squares. So not this one, but the second lot. So you make sure that it's overlapping your first tree by those two boxes there. So the first tree is here. The second tree is going to be there. So we place that down and we go back to our third layout and we say edit layout. When you come into the third layout, don't edit the layout. You just cross it out and go back into your main layout and you'll see that the two trees have been glitched together. For the next step of the process, you must copy this layout again onto your third layout or your second layout whichever one you're using and then you go to your copied layout and you say edit layout the last tree that you put down you need to store back in 
take it back out again and leave it where you want it to stay. Don't cross it out, just cross out of the game again. Go back to your main layout and you'll see the trees disappeared again. So we cut, pick up our third tree. So that's our first. So our second one's here. The third one needs to overlap the second tree. Again, you go into your third layout or your second layout, your extra layout. Say edit layout and just come out of it. It'll take you back to your main layout and you'll see your fir trees there. Once again, we copy this layout onto the extra layout that we're using. We go into the extra layout and say edit layout. We pick up the fir tree and store it. We take it out and we leave it hanging in the space you want it to be. Cross out using the X on the left side of the menu, not the one under the tree, and we bring our fourth tree. That's where our third tree is. We place our fourth tree just by and but with the third tree. We go back into our extra layout and say edit layout again. Don't edit anything, just X out and come out of it. You can also visit Stella's, but it's quicker this way. And you'll see your fourth tree is there too. Once again, you need to copy this layout onto your extra layout again. And you go into your extra layout and you say edit layout. You pick up the last tree you put there. Take it back out again and leave it hanging in exactly the position you want it. X out using the X on the left hand side on the menu. Go back into your main layout. We pick up our fifth tree. So our fourth tree is here. We can't see the fourth tree, but it is there. And we put the fifth tree down here. We come out of here again. We go into our extra layout and say edit layout. We cross out using the menu on the left side and then you'll see that tree is also being glitched. So you can do this with any of your trees. You can do this with all of your trees. I'll show you one more time. We copy this layout onto the extra layout we're using. Go to the extra layout and say edit layout. Put the tree away, take it back out, leave it hanging, go to the main layout, bring our next tree in. Don't put it here, otherwise it will end up on top of the other tree. We would put it in this space here, which we don't have any space to do. So it's fine, we'll just move one of our other trees around. And we'll put this by the other tree, which we can't see at the moment. Go into your extra layout again. Say edit layout, X out, go back to your main menu and you'll see the tree has glitched into place. And that's how we do multiple trees. Now I've got a lot to do over here, but it's going to be worth doing. And just a little tip, a bonus tip for you. When you start to use your layout with these trees the way they are, if you pluck from the end trees, it'll be easier. I mean, you can't do that all the, all the time because there will be a time when your trees will just uh, die. So you'll have to do this process again. But plucking from the side trees is a little bit easier. It will keep you going a bit longer because then you only have to glitch the side tree the next time you need to do it. So you always have to remove the tree right by the tree you're trying to glitch in order for the glitch to work. Thanks for watching guys. If you're new around here, subscribe, like the video if you liked it. Hopefully you found it useful. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.